It's been almost three weeks since the Appalachian basketball team played its last game at the Holmes Convocation Center. During that time, the team has found a groove that sees the wins piling up and the national attention mounting. At 11-3 overall, the Mountaineers motored past Virginia, UCF, and Vanderbilt to win the San Juan shootout, only to follow that success with a win on the road at Virginia Commonwealth in one of the toughest home court venues in the country. Houston Fancher says his club's hot shooting has been a key to the surge. We've had good runs and bad runs. We've had times we've played well, not played so well, but we continue to find a way to win a ball game every night, and, and that's been the impressive thing up to this point. Whether we're shooting the ball well or not, we've still defended, we've still rebounded, we've made a lot of things happen uh, ourselves instead of letting things happen, we've made things happen. We've been proactive instead of reactive in a lot of situations, and that's been an encouraging thing for me and our coaching staff. The Mountaineers are currently ranked 15th in the mid-major top 25. A claim is poured in from ESPN's Dick Vitale and Fran Fraschilla, as well as other national outlets such as CNNSI, CBS Sportsline, and CSTV. All of that attention just reassures Jeremy Clayton that opposing teams will not take the Mountaineers lightly. Well, um, you know, we, we just want to take it um, one step at a time. You know, we don't need to, you know, we, we don't need to believe the hype. You know, people are going to probably come up to us now, start patting us on our back and everything, telling how good we are. You know, we, we don't need to listen to that. We just need to keep on playing hard, keep on doing what we're doing to this point to keep our own streak going and to keep us playing hard and to get more wins. Over their current six-game winning streak, the Apps have used a stingy defense to their advantage, a tactic that limited VCU to just 16 points over the final 14 minutes of their pre-New Year's clash. Kellen Brand says that game intensity is bred in practice, where because of depth, routine scrimmages can be very intense. It's just hardcore ball for about 15 minutes. You know, we're just going at it. You know, uh, you know, good referees, coaches, and uh, just, just going at it, man, just trying to get better, making each other better, going in and competing every day. After dashing out to a 3-0 start in SoCon play, the Apps look to keep the winning streak alive as league play resumes this week in Chattanooga. Following that contest Saturday, it's back to the home center for the first time in nearly a month when the Apps meet Elon on January 13th. I don't think you can overstate what a supportive crowd would do for these kids. I think they've earned the right to have that type of support with what they've done so far up until this point. Uh, I, as I continue to say, you know, our, our job is to continue to put good teams on the floor and, and hopefully people will want to come watch and want to come back. And, and once they see the kids, the effort that these kids are putting forward and the things they've done up until this point, Dave, to, to get them to this position, you know, hopefully people will want to continue to come back and support these kids. And that's, that's the thing we try to do is get you in here once and then make you want to come back. Reporting for the Appalachian Sports Network, I'm David Jackson.